Hello, everybody. Simulation for Nation here. Welcome back to the two hectare challenge, where it is now technically nearly four hectares. And today is a big day because, well, we're, it's early January. Uh, we can't plant any grass. Uh, we've got nothing left to harvest. So we are on uh, all. Well, we're going to try and see how much we can make and see what we're looking like today as we sell everything up. Uh, so we're going to start with the first of the uh, loaded trees um, that we have fell from the middle of our field. Uh, at some point we might also need to buy a stump grinder and then the uh, sapling planter so we can get some more in the ground but for right now at least it's a good start to get this all cleared and it'll give us an ind indication of you know is it worth it are we making enough money from it to continue and so that will be all very interesting indeed as you can see it is winter still early january here that's a bit frosty on the deck um and we'll see how we get on but Everything's been just ticking along, uh, really. We've uh, finished cultivating the ground. The weeds have just come flying back through. Um, we have... No, go on. Last you go. We've been able to... And around we go there. Uh, we've got the stone picker hiding. We've finished with that as well. Got the ground cleared, uh, which is good. And then, uh, yeah, it means that we're all good to go. We're all set. We can just continue selling on. Uh, today, what I want to see us do is... We've got a few pallets of soup to sell. Uh, we've got some silage to take up. We've got this to go and some apples as well. So we should see a hefty surplus added on to our current balance, which in, in itself is looking pretty good. I think in the last episode there, which was about two weeks ago, we sold or we reduced our debt. We paid off about 50 grand, I do believe. Uh, so if we can get anywhere north of like 110,000, then whatever else we have, we'll stick onto the, onto the debt again. Just a good habit to keep paying that down where we can. Uh, and then we'll see how we go so uh it's all very exciting lots uh lots to come really uh and then we can it'll set us up i'm not sure i think this is going to be the last series of this challenge that we'll do um i think that's where i've kind of made my mind up at the moment so what i'd like us to do we've got until june uh so we've got another five episodes after today i do believe maybe four actually because the way things panned out but we need to get ourselves in a position that we're ready to go again and we can sell everything up if we need to or see what that balance looks like and then we'll decide if we're going to stay in this uh well where we're going to go next what that's going to look like which map we're going to go to etc and so on uh but yeah lots to, lots to look into there at some stage anyway uh but right now yeah we're just going to start with the easy thing to sell trade a lot of wood uh, which has gone that, the branches that can that were big enough have gone through the firewood processor those that are not big enough obviously haven't um but you know there's still about three trees that have chopped up ready to go up there as well so there's plenty to get going with there at some stage or another you'll see we've uh got a few more pallets to go out here as well now the we're not making uh the uh triple soup the most expensive one because we've ran out of parsnips so we are down to uh beet and uh carrot but you know i'm sure someone likes that uh anyway it's not for me what we will do though is get to about here and start selling this off which means somewhere over here oh no that's a chainsaw somewhere over here so you can see there's what uh six seven eight nine ten eleven pallets there so far and still plenty to go out sell wood that's, that's better again okay a little bit more a little bit more still some left in there third time's a charm close enough all right Just a little bit Now the silage as well, uh, we'll be selling that one off today and that's a, a slow feed really. It takes a while for that to be all processed through the BJ, but that'll be a nice one to have coming on in. Uh, there'll be a fair whack there as well. Perfect, and we will get ourselves away. Uh, yeah, really it's just a case of just kicking things over here. It, it, this time of year it's not, not ideal, not a lot happening, but I think that's also partly because we were so quick with our harvest this year that we've able to been able to really uh, capitalize on that and do all the jobs that we were doing only about now. Um, we're all done. We're all up to speed. I would normally uh, get that grass in now, but we can't sell it in uh, December, January or February 
So we have to wait a little bit longer to get onto that. It is what it is. I'm not too concerned. Uh, and then we'll be all good. Uh, so I am in two minds, really, if we should. I'm trying to figure out where we go next, really. Meadow Grove has been good, but I think it's time to find the next location, uh, next map. Uh, see what we can do. Uh, so if you have any suggestions, please do leave them down below as to where you think, which map we should go on to, what we should do on there as well. Part of me thinks that we can keep the challenge going. Um, part of me also wants to think about doing like a contractor series again, because that was quite good fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, and of course, uh, my farming life will continue there with two episodes a week as well. Uh, but yeah, we can see where it goes. Been working hard this week on uh, the new map on Longford as well. If you haven't seen the video from that uh, with the yard reveal, it's out there. Go and take a look from last week. But we've been working on some of the more, the less, in, like, less fun pieces, but the important pieces uh, and mainly the road network. Make sure that's all done. Once the road network's in, and there's a really pivotal bit with the canal as well that I've been working on. Once that's all tied in, kind of done really. Um, you know, that's the heavy bit done. After that, there's just a lot of uh, a lot more models to make for shot for farm buildings and houses, and then there's um, a lot of decoration, a lot of landscaping, that kind of stuff. But it's coming together. It's uh, oh, I've missed my turn. I do that every time. Uh, I really like where we're where we're getting with it now, actually. So that's good. All right, so. Uh, now this trailer will take back up there anyway. We'll put, go and sell those apples straight away as well. Um, and then we'll come back. It's on to the side after that. All right, so we're going to take the handler so we can uh, get everything sold off on the trailer then load up the uh, pallets that down by the production and take those away as well. Uh, so it's off out in my uh, most favorite vehicle that we have in this challenge. I absolutely adore this uh, telehandler. It's been perfect for what we need. Gets us done uh, through everything as well. Nice and quickly. Uh, and it was dirt cheap as well, comparatively. So I am, um, yeah, thrilled to have got this. And still very happy with it as well. Um, I spend a lot of time in all my series in telehandlers. And that's something, I don't know, it's just my like default, I suppose. So yeah, very much enjoyable. And uh, stop the... Okay, and off we go again. Uh, nice little jaunt over there, and we'll see how much more we get off these uh, orchards. Right now, at least, we're getting about um, maybe one and a half days. Uh, we'll get it, or maybe actually close to the two days, we get one crate of apples from each tree. So it's, uh, it's not the fastest production, but it's still coming on in, and the trees were not too expensive. So uh, it's going to be a, an interesting adventure. Go on. Go. Move. They're all still there, are they? Yes. Good. Good. Yeah, and we've still got all that in there to go through at some stage. We haven't taken any more down this winter yet because we've got the wood in our own field to do there but that will be the next one uh when you can process it through the firewood processor it is a lot uh, more uh, valuable so that might be uh it's when you've got all the smaller branches on our trees you don't get too much for it there so it's a, a bit of a trade-off uh but still it provides a different revenue source and it has to do with, within our fields there so i don't mind it too much have to see just what we're looking like in terms of if we rent the equipment that we need or and we just keep an eye out for if it ever goes on sale because uh, that'll probably be the easiest way to go uh, should we have been continuing this or moving forward as we're not we will just leave it be and uh you know chalk it down to a bit of a, a success bit of a learning process at the same time and we're gonna go into here and sell now in theory we can just sell the rest of these pallets straight into this sell point here as well um uh, because be the same price and it would save load them up just to shift them around but first things first let's just get this all into here
all right nearly three grand that's a start Right, let's see how this goes. I wonder if I can pick up all of these and give it a go. Nailed it. This is where the big money comes in though. Seven grand right there just for one? I would. And uh, the six in the books. Very nice. It's gone all all very easily so far. Um, but we're at that 105 mark, which is awesome. We still haven't got, I'm hoping to get a good, like, over the period of time we'll be processing them, a good 30k for those silage bales that we found, which in itself is wild, but, you know, where we are. Who knew there was so much demand for soup? And it's ridiculous. Uh, we are going to be, uh, by the time we sell this one, about 115,000 pounds, which is great. And then, like I say, silage will go away on top of that. And there's still, if that one sells up here, let's have a quick look and see what we're left with. Uh, so we've still got 14,000 litres of carrots. Uh, Red beef is sitting at 5,000 litres. So there's still going to be another good couple of pallets coming off there as well. But that is fantastic. Really, really pleasing. Uh, if we look onto here, before we go and take that silage away, come down to our finances. Our loans created at £250,000. Let's just get that down to two hundred. Uh, perfect. And then we will head on back over to the yard. We'll get this load back up, stick it probably onto a different tractor, I'd imagine. And then we can get this sipped away as well uh, to, to see where we go. Uh, like I say, it's going to take a while to start to see the benefits of this load coming through. Uh, but it will. It'll just be a case of uh, checking in every day. And by the time we come back to the next episode there, which will of course be a month's time, it should be a little bit of a different story altogether. There. But we will uh, go and get that loaded up anyway. So what we'll probably look to do as well, by the time we get to June, we will... Our sheep are producing a little bit of wool, not a great deal, but they're producing something. Uh, we'll probably look to sell them on, uh, see if we can gain much money by fattening them up, and uh, see if it's been worthwhile. Uh, and then we will sell those pastures off as well. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll be, like I say, curious to see what that all looks like. We could even go through everything and sell everything off there entire, in its entirety and, uh, and move forward. And based off what we're doing, where we're going, We'll see if we need to keep a machine or not, or uh, what that'll look like. But yeah, I'm curious to see how that all comes together. There's quite a lot of expensive machinery in our yard. Well, it would have been if it was brand new. Uh, obviously, we've really just capitalized on sales where we can. So the amount we'll receive back is probably not going to be all that great. But still, it'll all add to the bottom line, that's for sure. All right, so we'll go and swap our um, implements around on the front here and start getting this loaded up so we can take it away.
right, so four left, the final four, if you will. We're going to get these stacked up here. Uh, and then that'll be us all good to go. Come on. Oh, they've just dropped one off the back there. That's done well. So far off the far side, I went too far. Uh, we'll get these two loaded up, and then we're going to probably use the John Deere, because it's right here to take these away. Uh, and then we're all set. So uh, we'll get the uh, processing plant working away at the BGA. And then we're all set. So we'll be good. Uh, it's going to take a while to get over there with this because it's going to be... These bales are five and a half thousand liters each. Uh, which means there's quite a load of silage on here, actually. So I'm quite confident about getting so much money for it as well. Easy does it there, bale. Up you go. Uh, we have to figure that one out. Let that fall. Uh, and we'll get that sorted out there. But yeah, I'm quietly confident that we'll make a good amount of money off each of these once I've actually got them all loaded up there, that is. Uh, and we will see what that looks like. So I hope you have enjoyed anyway. We're going to probably leave this one here for now. This was just a little bit of an update as I'm really struggling with this bale here. Uh, and we will see how we get on. Um, next update, hopefully, will be... We'll probably progress through February because there's not too much for us to do there. Uh, just waiting for everything to sell off. And then we will... Uh, Get into some field work when we're allowed to start planting our grass, which will hopefully come soon. Uh, but until then, I'm going to wrestle with this bale, and we will see you next what time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. This has just been one of our final few episodes, really, of the uh, Two Hector Challenge. And I hope you uh, will see how it looks in the future. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing. Uh, hit the like button if you haven't done so already and consider leaving a comment down below uh if you want to see more as well and subscribe to simulation for the nation if you want to see all the latest from my farm and life and the latest map updates as well until next time though i shall see you later